Here's how to set up your new Yealing Ha 64 Pro. Here's what's included in the box. The headset, charging base, AC power adapter, micro USB to USB-A for connecting to the desk phone, USB-C to USB-A for connecting to a computer or a laptop. Start by plugging in the AC power adapter to the back of the charging base and the other end into a wall outlet. If you have a desk phone, plug in the micro USB cable into the back of the charging base, then the USB-A port into the back of the desk phone. If your phone does not have a USB port, contact our support team for help. Plug in the USB-C cable to the back of the charging base and the other end of the cable into your computer or laptop. Lastly, if you want to connect up your Bluetooth enabled smartphone, push the power button down towards the Bluetooth icon for about three to five seconds until you see the LED light on the side of the headset begin to flash. Then go to your Bluetooth settings on your phone and select the headset. The way this works is that the headset is connected to the charging base through a technology called DECT, which is what connects to your computer and desk phone. So that's gonna give you up to 600 feet of wireless range. So when an incoming call comes in either on your desk phone or your computer, you'll hear a ringtone in your headset, even up to that 600 feet away, and you can tap the call control button in order to answer or end the call. You can lift the mic boom to mute, or you can press the mute button. Adjust the volume up or down easily. The headband is fully adjustable to customize the size of the headband. The mic boom can be worn on the right or left side. The headset has Bluetooth also built into it, so that means you can take your smartphone and the headset with you on the go without taking the charging stand. The three and a half inch colored touchscreen shows how much battery life you have. The headset icon shows green when the headset is paired properly to the base, and there will even be a mute icon. Both the PC and desk phone icon will light up when both are successfully connected, and there's a green light under one of the icon letting you know which device is your default device. So when you press the answer end button, it's going to automatically try to start a call on that device. There are large buttons that can be pressed. You have the status button. This will show you basic information about the headset. Then you have your settings, which allows you to adjust a lot of the settings of the headset. Most notably, you can adjust the side tone of the headset up or down. You can change your default calling device to either the PC or the desk phone. Change the wireless range from short to long, and you can even switch the platform from Teams to UC. The Teams mode allows you to seamlessly integrate with Microsoft Teams without having to download any extra software. So this is great if you use primarily Microsoft Teams, you wanna go with that version. Otherwise, if you use another phone system like Zoom, Ring Central, Dialpad, or any of the others, then you'll wanna go with the UC mode. Lastly, you can download the free Yealink USB Connect software. Although it's not necessary, it does give you access to adjusting the same settings that you can on the screen. Otherwise, you can update the firmware through the Yealink USB Connect. Well, that's all I got for you on this video. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you on the next one.